So this is another video from a gal that lives in Denver and she is trying to get the information out there as well because this is not something that the mainstream media is going to talk about. They're just going to keep talking about joy and Kamala Harris and this bright light and this icon and this legend that she is, even though we can't name one thing that she's accomplished, but they're not going to talk about the struggles of everyday people having to live with the repercussions of these policies that again are sold to us as something that just sounds so nice and so charitable and under these social justice virtue signaling talking points. This is what reality looks like. You have to look five, 10 steps down the road. If we actually put this in these in place, what is this actually going to look like to live with? And that is what people need to be placing their votes on. So this is another gal in Denver talking about the impact, talking about the things that she is seeing. And all of us need to be aware of this because this is what the entire country is going to look like if Kamala Harris gets into the White House. So I'm not one to talk politics, um, never have been. I try to stay out of those conversations. I've always respected what everyone feels and thinks. I still do. But I don't think a lot of you understand what's happening in our country right now, mainly because most of you don't live in a sanctioned city. Um, I live in Denver. Um, so we're slowly losing control of our city, um, our cities. And the government's not doing anything. Um, Governor Polis in Colorado, he is not doing anything about the apartment complex that has been taken over by Venezuelan gang members that have come over illegally. Um, they have robbed 10 gun shops in, in Denver in the past month. They are strapping up. And this is just the first step. They're seeing what they can get away with. And so far, they've been in this apartment complex for a almost a month the police can't do anything about it haven't we haven't brought in reinforcements and they're just living in this apartment complex they overtook and no one's doing anything what do you think they're going to do next they're going to start overtaking more apartment complexes more buildings more facilities what did our country think was going to happen when their time was up in the hotels we provided to them I had a feeling they were going to start overtaking things and that's what's starting to happen. It takes a lot to scare me. I've been to third world countries, never really been freaked out or nervous, never thought that I would have to buy a gun to feel safe. And even when I get my gun in a couple days, I don't even know if I'll still feel safe, but at least I'll have a weapon. Um, I've never been against guns, but I've also never thought that I'm going to need to buy a gun for safety. Um, but here we are, here we are. Um, and if you don't live in a sanctioned city, I really, really encourage you to do some research and see what's happening to our country. I understand if you're a Democrat and you have your reasons, right? Abortion, you're pro abortion and, and same sex marriage. I I'm fine with that. I understand we all have our own opinions and our beliefs and that's important to a lot of you, but I hope you understand that although those are important topics when it comes to voting, if Trump or someone else is not in office other than Camille, Camila, whatever her name is, that stuff's not going to matter because we will not have a country like we have now or have had. So it's not going to matter if abortion is legal or not. It's not going to matter if same sex marriage is legal or not, because we're not going to have America anymore. That's 100% true. I mean, when you think about all of the things that they are trying to sell people on, whether it be reproductive rights or transgender rights or same sex marriage or any of these other things that they are trying to scare people into thinking that they are going to lose the right to. We're not going to have a country. Everything is going to be in total chaos. Everybody is going to be in total poverty. That is not a fear tactic because we can see small pockets all over the country where this is exactly what is happening. Do you think that this woman here, do you think that most women, her and the one in the last video that we just watched, do you think that they are more concerned about being able to go to an abortion clinic or just being able to walk down the street and not get mugged 
or something worse. Fact of the matter is, if we don't have a border, we do not have a country and nothing else matters. If you enjoyed that clip from my channel, Outspoken Samantha, I invite you to hit the like button. Please make sure that you are subscribed so that I can continue to grow this channel. Share it with anybody else that you think might find it interesting and check the description box because there's a really good chance this clip came from a longer video of the same subject matter. Thank you so much for being here and I will see you in the next one.